Let me just start it. Yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, good start to the year. Uh, just really pleased with how our kids uh, prepared for the season. I mean, I told them in the locker room this has gone on since, you know, we played our last game a year ago. And uh, just I could not have been more pleased and proud how they worked, you know, whether it's spring practice, off-season running, lifting throughout the summer. Though we had a really, really good August. And then just everybody, you know, just um, – you know, scout team kids, kids that weren't even dressed out today, just everybody in our organization, how they worked, and, and it certainly paid off. You know, one thing we want to do is, was uh, play well early, start fast, and I, I thought we did that. And You know, tough, uh, tough first game opponent, don't know much about them, and uh, I, thought we, I thought we handled that handled that pretty well. You know, things that stand out to me, I thought Darren played extremely well first, I mean, golly, first early time in that situation. Uh, didn't turn the ball over on offense. Which I think it's great. I thought we were solid running the football. You know, I knew some guys would show up. Um, I just thought how well he threw the football. And then I just thought defensively, you know, you really take away a couple of plays. I thought we were really solid over there, particularly in a really situation that you didn't kind of know, you know, you practice a lot of things. But, um, we, we, you know, and we'll go back. There are some things obviously we've got to do better. But it's certainly a good place to start. You know, start the building process for having a good year. Any any questions? Uh, Darren, this is the first one for you. Uh, just you seem much more confident just in your body language and everything out on the field today. Describe how you felt out there today. So. Uh, I just felt a year older. I just felt one year older, uh, more experience. Uh, I just rallied behind the guys that were in front of me, and they just helped me out so much and just talking to me a lot. Just saying just believing in me basically and just I just follow behind them and just keep it pushing. Uh, coach you had twenty first downs in the first half. You were one out of five on third down conversions first half instead of twenty first downs. And then you had the big plays in the second half. Right. Um, you just kind of really showed the different ways this offense can be successful I thought today. Can you kinda share your thoughts on that? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I've told our guys this. I said, you know what? To win a national championship, which is what we want to do, you got to be balanced on offense. And yeah, we got to be able to run the football. And I, I, we just feel like we can. You know, I mean, we're at our best when we can be balanced. And certainly, Darren, he shows you he can make every throw. You know, the option game is part of what we do. We think we're so much. Those guys up front have come a long ways. We think we've got some really good backs. Um, and yeah, you know, I think a little bit there in the fourth quarter, we went into a little bit of four-minute mode, and um, which was fine. We got a chance to play a ton of kids. I mean, meaningful snaps, and that'll pay off for us. And you know, we've said it. You know, we're relatively, we're kind of an unusual group. We're relatively experienced, yet still relatively young in a lot of spots. Uh, so I think that's the things most pleasing. We'll go watch this tape, and you know, did a lot of good things, but I know there's some things we'll have to do a lot better than we did. But uh, but again, it's a good start. Uh, uh, Devin, just kind of talk to you. I want, I want to ask you about um, your success today. Uh, you know, you got you know, dating back to last year. It's your third straight 100 yard game. Is your confidence just building? You know, I know it's week one this year, but week to week. And then uh, just how you kind of run the ball. You have that patience. Can you, how have you kind of learned that over the years of your football career? Um, since since uh, high school, one of my coaches always told me uh, patience was kind of my key thing. So I just tried to bring it here to Furman and uh, develop it. And it's it's gotten way better. My coaches, they're believing in me. The players, we're all getting behind each other. And it's the, the way we run the ball is just with an attitude. We set a goal this season to be known as RBU. So basically, Furman is running back university and I think we shown that right now. Hey coach after uh, Charleston Southern came out in the third quarter got that touchdown all of a sudden to 24 to 13 how important was that next drive that you had and you picked up three uh, conversions on third down. You know I, that was huge you know I obviously probably the only thing I was really just I thought defense we did some really good things I probably that that start of the third quarter is not what we want to be certainly um, but no had, had a great job I mean uh, coach Corals put us in a great situation. We made some converted, I don't know how many, I know we converted a couple of third downs and I think even the even the touchdown, I think was a third down, maybe a third and goal from the five we conversion that we had. And 
No, I think that was huge. And then came back and played really good defensively after that. Got the ball back and had the two big, two big plays. And, you know, Devin, you know, Corey Watkins, we didn't play. Um, Corey's had a kind of a banged up toe. I think he could have played, but we just felt like he could, you know, we weren't going to play if we didn't have to. And I think you add him to the mix, I think it makes us even better back there. And, yeah, you know, I've been telling you, I knew number 21 was going to show up somewhere. Uh, you know, I thought he made, I think one of the big plays, the third down catch he made. You know, Darren threw a really good ball, and he got popped, hung on to it, and then obviously in the long run, I just, you know, I'd, I'd seen that on high school tape. I was glad to sit in the purple jersey out there today. <laughs> uh, so, I, you know, and the nature of that position, you need some guys. You know, it's just a position they're going to they're gonna be beat up a little bit, and um, you're going to need some guys. So we'll, we'll need them all, you know, before it's all said and done. Donovan, uh, being a defensive guy, you know I have to take the swing and go the defensive right here. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't really show up in the analytics, but as a team, overall, it seemed to me you guys were really well conditioned today. What can you say to that effect in terms of being able to continue defensively uh, from your standpoint? Um, so one of the big emphasis um, as a team collectively is that we're going to be um, the most conditioned team um, on the field every game that we play. And so what we do after practice, which Basically, we do the conditioning in practice. We do extra conditioning running gassers, which I think is a great idea. And it kind of emphasizes that fourth quarter effort. And you've seen it in a, in a game as we were able to dominate in fourth quarter. And just to piggyback off that question, uh, with, with such a fast-paced offense, playing against such a fast-paced fast -paced offense, what are some of the hard points or the things that are difficult to accomplish as a defense? Um, I feel like as long as we're um, attentive and um, we're all collectively communicating um, properly, I don't think there really is a, a challenge. The only thing I would say, though, that may have some difficulty is just the communication on the sideline to the field between coaches and players and just trying to get calls in. But as long as we're together, attentive, we'll be fine. And Devin, 369 yards rushing as a team. How, how about the play of your offensive line today? Oh, man, our offensive line is pretty exciting. We When we came into camp, uh, a lot of us running backs, we were very excited to have that line in front of us and to be able to run behind them. And we've just been harping on just dominating, and they certainly dominated up front today, and we showed that we could – get out in open space and make long runs. And it started all because of them. So I have nobody else to thank but them. And Darren, your comfort uh, level this year versus one year ago when you were kind of thrown into the fire, how do you feel? I feel a lot much better, a lot more confident. Uh, coaches believe in me, and the players just rally around me, and they just give me the strength to go out there and play for them. Devin, as a running back core, uh, what what has been the big challenge leading up into this season? Uh, a lot of talent in the backfield. I'm, all of you guys seem to be very hungry. Uh, is there any how how what's the level of competition at practice on the daily? Uh, competition. I mean, this it's tough out there because you you have so many of us that's just so skilled and could bring something to the table at any point in time. And I think everybody is just you know trying to trying to get that one leg up on the next man. So that's how we basically come out and play. Like, we're trying to do better than the person in front of us. And if he breaks a long run, we'll try to break another long run 10 yards more or something like that. So we always just – we we try to compete a lot in that position. So I think that's what we really bring to the table. Coach, um, you get a win today first season opening win in, since 2014, and it's against the only non-conference FCS foe you have this season. Just how big is it to start this one? Oh, it's big. You know, it was nice. It was fun to be at home. Um, it was, um, you know, I just, I just wanted to play well. Yeah, I wanted to play well, and, um, you know, and I, I just, we prepared well, and, and, and again, I thought we played well. And, you know, obviously there's a, I just told him, I said, we, we played well, we can play better, and we'll have to. We'll have to play a lot better in the next week and in the week going forward. But no, I, I think anytime you get a little confidence, 
people have asked me a lot about I said, you know, I have a ton of confidence in this team. I just did. I was kind of excited to watch them go play. I just I, – I knew we had a chance to be a good football team. You know, you still got to go do it. But I had a lot of confidence in them. I know these coaches did. And, uh, and I think they did, you know, just the way they prepared. And, I, and, again, I knew the depth part. I, you know, I don't remember a game. It was hot out there. I don't remember a game. Uh, I don't think I saw one guy – that we had to feel like we, you know, we get some guys that tap out, you know, when they've, they've been in there a few plays or make a long run, we try to get them back out of there. But I just didn't think there was a time where we felt like we had to get a guy out of there. I don't think of anybody who had cramping. Uh, and again, that's credit to, you know, Coach Bernardi, his staff, where they've done our guys the way they worked and our training staff, all those things. So, uh, you know, we'll be better when we play more guys. I've learned, I learned a long time ago, if you can play all those guys, morale on your team's better. You know, those guys, they come out here Monday now, and even some of those third, I think the fourth quarter, we're playing all threes, and they'll practice better next week. They will. And a lot of those guys are going to be really good players. They're just going to, some of them are going to have to earn their playing time just because they got some pretty good players in front of them. And, uh, you know, and so for us, can we just continue to improve each week and, and get better? I, th I think we came out pretty healthy, you know, and we're relatively healthy going into it. So, uh, again, it's, a, it's fun to get a win. It is. Coach, um, one of those young guys that, that played that we expected to play, they came in later, uh, but things weren't decided yet, was Evan Jumper. Yeah. And as yeah. much as you guys value the football, yeah. you put another center in there. Well, uh, you, you know, really, the, they, we started the game in a rotation right. with him, and so he probably played half the snaps. Sure. Um, I think maybe we played the first two series with Cole. I think the third series of the game, he was in the game. You know, they've been really neck and neck all August. Uh, which is a credit to him, you know. And these guys will tell you, anytime you got somebody like that pushing you, it's gonna make you better. Uh, so we rolled those two guys. Uh, it